Hey guys, Jason Reporter here. Uh, welcome to my first edition of uh, the Fly of the Week, okay? So I'm gonna start uh, putting out real short videos on uh, flies that uh, my brother and I and uh, also our other friends that fly fish use uh, that have had success, okay? And some of them are gonna be ones that I've tied. Uh, some of them are ones that we've purchased. Um, it's always a good idea just to know uh, what's working. And then usually I'll have at the end of the video some pictures of some fish that we caught with that fly um, so you can see that uh, you know the, uh, the R&D uh, has already happened. So um, if you've watched my videos, you know a lot about this particular fly I'm gonna show you. Um, my brother and I named it the John Wick. Um, the original John Wick, which I have right here, uh, I'm gonna show you here, uh, is this guy. Now it's beat up. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk you through uh, kind of what I did to tie this fly and what's in it. But there's a lot of different variations that you can use for this. Um, so I will uh, take a moment and walk you through the process and what, uh, what I use to tie the John Wick. Okay, so the original John Wick is this guy right here. Um, now this thing's been beat up big time. Uh, we lost an eye there. Normally this is a tungsten bead. Uh, I do some red eyes and I epoxy those in. Uh, but let's start with the back. So this is a size two Gamagatsu. Um, I'll use wire sometimes. Sometimes I'll use monofilament. I think this is 20 pound monofilament and two beads. Uh, these beads are key. This really makes this fly. All the material uh, goes over the top of that when it gets wet and those red beads, you can kind of see through um, and it looks amazing. Uh, usually I'll do marabou off the tail uh, and then usually some sort of crystal flash. The front hook, um, I usually buy cheap hooks, so when I tie them, I can cut the shank off and I'm not worried about destroying an you know, expensive hook. Um, what this body is, uh, you can do a dubbing loop if you want. Um, this is a brush. So I have a brush that is uh, gray and white and crystal flash, and it's hard to see because it all blends together, but this is a smaller brush, and I can't remember the, the size, I think maybe an inch and a half and I wrap it all the way to the front. And then I have a longer brush, which I think is three inches, which is a darker gray, and it's got some black on the tip. So when that gets wet, the longer brush um, kind of co covers the uh, lighter brush underneath. And there's a really kind of a glow look to it, especially with that bead underneath. Uh, and then the front, um, I do a crystal dub. Um, a lot of times I'll wrap it loosely um, kind of do a, a you know a dub that's loose on there and then I'll use my wire brush and kind of pull it back so it kind of uh, coats this. We definitely want some of that crystal to coat the body. So that's the original John Wick. Um, I tie lots of variations of it. This is a variation of it. Um, you can see the wire this time. Um, size 2 Gamagatsu I believe still. Uh, we got the red uh, beads. Um, this time I think I used a craft fur coming off the end and a different crystal flash. You can use all kinds of different materials. Same, um, same wrap. This time though, uh, with that wrap, I included, uh, if I remember right, uh, it's a crystal flash wrap that I kind of uh, alternated to get a little more uh, crystal in there. And then the same big brush on the top uh, that kind of coats it. Uh, this time I decided I wanted to put the bead um, here. Uh, and then I, I uh, did a wrap over the top of that. Uh, and so I couldn't do eyes. And so I did uh, red with a red marker to do the gill plates and then I did a black marker on top uh, that's going to be uh, the top of the fish there so this really mimics a bait fish well um, I always put a little red on the front uh, and then have that red those red beads on the back okay so when this is in the water it glows um, these are all fantastic variations of the John Wick um, you can tie them again in different colors if you want but the white and the gray the bulls just love it. And the good thing about this fly is the rainbows and the cutties love it as well. Uh, we've got a ton of fish with this fly and I'll show you pictures of those uh, in just a second. 